I'm Thomas Lucas. I work for Rogers O'Brien Construction, and I'm the superintendent for the T.A. Brown Elementary School. Rebar is more formally known as reinforcing bar. I tend to think of it like a human body, right? You've got uh, your big strong pieces are your muscles, right? But the muscles need your bones in order to stand up straight and to be reinforced and to be stronger. Your muscle can't stand up on its own. And concrete, though it's hard and it can just be a, a blob of concrete in whatever shape that you want it to be, it will be much stronger with the rebar inside of it. The process of rebar starts with submittals. The engineer has designed something and it's in the contract set of documents. It says this is what we're going to build. Making sure that you have produced what the engineer wants so that you install it the way that it's designed. If you start deviating from all the parts and pieces that the engineer wants, then you may be compromising the structural integrity of the building, which is bad. They tie rebar together a couple of different reasons. One, they've got to make it make a shape. When you talk about matte steel, the stuff that's horizontal, yeah. uh, that's just that one layer, you tie all that together so it stays in the right orientation too. Because when concrete flows down on top of it, it looks like it's thick, but really it's got a lot of liquid motion to it and a lot of pressure as it comes out of the hose. So when the concrete hits it, that bar wants to shift around a lot. But if all that bar is tied down, then everything's locked into place and it, and it doesn't move. And that means that it's gonna be in the same configuration that it was when it was initially tied. Everything has to be in the correct orientation so that the overall strength of the concrete develops like it should. Being a rod buster is an extremely physically challenging job. You're almost always outside. You're in the heat, you're in the cold, the steel's gonna get hot. There's no way to keep it all under the shade, so you're picking up a hot bar, you're throwing it on your shoulder, you're moving it from point A to point B, you're laying it down where it goes, the correct spacing. You've got multiple layers of clothes on because the bar is hot, so you want some kind of protection from just bare skin and the bar. Their ability to execute what is drawn, to install it properly, to have all the right ties on it, to have it at the right spacing, and to do so in a, in a safe manner to where they can get out of that tight space where they can stand up, take the tool bags off, throw them in the trunk of the car, bed the truck, and go home every day. That's the, that's the challenging part.